So, today we will be talking of uh, rotational motion of rigid bodies. In rotational motion, some of the words come very frequently and very important to analyze any such situation. And uh, some of these are angular velocity, which we write as omega. Then we have angular momentum. which we write as L. We have moment of inertia, which we write as I. We have torque, which we write as tau. You know all meanings of all these things. I believe so. So, angular velocity is uh, a vector quantity omega and if you have a rigid body which is rotating, and if you find that velocity of any particle linear velocity of any particle can be written as omega cross r i r i is the position vector of the particle and this omega is same for all the particles, then you say that this rigid body has this angular velocity vector. So, that is how one can identify omega and if something is rotating about a, a fixed axis of rotation or at any instant if you can find axis of rotation then it is very simple you just uh, write the magnitude of angular velocity omega as d theta d t and the direction is along the axis. If things are rotating anti clockwise it is towards the viewer, if it is clockwise opposite to the viewers. So, that is angular velocity omega, then you also have angular acceleration with uh, this you can also define angular acceleration alpha which is d omega d t. So, this is angular acceleration then angular momentum L for a particle it is r i cross p i which is r i cross m i v i and summation over all the particles. So, that is the angular momentum of the thing and then you have torque, torque is also a vector quantity, torque is r cross f. So, r i cross f i. So, look at all the forces and we are talking of external forces only. So, look for all the forces and if that force acts on ith particle then uh, do this cross product r i cross f i and then sum over all those i's. So, essentially this i runs over the forces we are which are acting on the object the external forces. So, at whatever point these forces are acting uh, the position vector of those points. So, these are the things moment of inertia is something which is uh, uh, more tricky and uh, probably I will be not be talking about this much. Now, some of the uh, elementary textbooks define moment of inertia about an axis. They assume that the x this rotation is about a fixed axis of rotation and then the definition of this i is simple and that is summation over m i r i square. Then uh, you sometimes hear that uh, torque is equal to i alpha. So, equations like that 
or L is equal to I omega equations like that. Okay. But these equations are valid in certain situations only, not everywhere valid for uh, certain situations. So, these are the terms used when you talk of rotational dynamics. So, first let me talk in terms of a conical pendulum and see what are these uh, quantities for that conical pendulum. So, here is a, is a pendulum, here is a pendulum, if I just move this pendulum like this, it is a simple pendulum, but if I move it in a cone, this uh, thread goes in a cone, it becomes conical pendulum. So, I am rotating it as a conical pendulum, the ball is going in a horizontal circle, the thread is going on the surface of a cone and you can take some uh, semi vertical angle theta of this cone. The questions we will be investigating what is the angular velocity, which direction, what is the angular momentum, what is the torque, what is the angular acceleration and what are those relations that are there. So, let us do all those things on the board. So, the conical pendulum is like uh, you can draw a picture ball here and then it goes in a horizontal circle. Anti clockwise as seen from above, this is that point where the other end of thread I had held. This is that vertical axis and the semi vertical angle is theta. So, first let us see what is angular velocity omega. The magnitude depends on how fast I am moving it. In one rotation, the angle rotated is 2 pi. So, you can take center of the circle and from here you can uh, connect this ball. So, the ball moves and the angle theta changes. So, it is going like this in this circle. So, you can ask what is d theta d t or delta theta delta t that is the magnitude of omega and if uh, I am maintaining this rotation at a constant speed then at a constant rate then this omega is constant and its direction is along this axis of rotation and in our case it is vertically upward because the ball is going in anti clockwise direction. So, the direction is this, this is the direction of this omega vertically upward. What is angular acceleration? Angular acceleration is uh, d omega d t, but omega is constant in magnitude as well as in direction. The direction is always vertically upward and magnitude is fixed if I am rotating with a constant rate. Therefore, this angular acceleration is 0. Next is torque. So, let us calculate what is the torque on this ball rotating ball. So, this is a point of suspension and I take my origin here. So, torque on this ball is summation r i f i. So, I have to look for all the forces and for each force I have to find this r i cross 
fi and that torque I have to add vectorially to get the total torque. So, here the forces are tension of this thread, here is the particle and then weight, these are the two forces that I can see and the torque of this tension force about this origin should be 0, because if the force is acting at this point and origin is here, this r vector is from origin to the particle where the force is acting. So, this is r vector and the force vector is also along this same thread and therefore, they are parallel and will be 0. So, torque of this tension is 0, torque of mg you have to write. So, this is r i once again it is uh, here. So, it is about this, this is r, this is r vector. So, let me write some uh, letters, let me call this point A and let me call this point as B the center of the circle as B. So, R i for this uh, point is O a vector and cross m g vector and this O a you can write as O b and plus B a and cross m g and then O b is in vertical direction m g is also in vertical direction. So, this cross product will be 0 and so it will be b a and cross m g vector. What is the magnitude? b a is radius of this circle, this is radius of this circle, m g the magnitude is m g and then sin theta angle between b a and m g b a is horizontal, m g is vertical. So, angle is 90 degrees and therefore, sin theta is sin 90 degrees which is 1. So, this is the magnitude. And so, you see that the torque is not 0, the angular acceleration is 0, but torque is not 0. So, it is not always true that uh, torque produces angular acceleration, torque is equal to i alpha and all those if alpha is 0 torque should be 0, it is not always true. So, now I am showing you a very interesting demonstration, which will show the relation between torque and angular momentum. This experiment is generally done with cycle wheel, we have done some uh, miniaturization. So, in this uh, I have taken a CD, a used CD and on that CD I have fixed a motor here and a battery here. Motor, battery they are all fixed with the CD and this entire setup is hanging through this thread from some support. So, that is the setup. On the other side you can see a toothpick this is just to show the axis of this C D, the direction of axis of the C D, so because of that it is here. The thread is uh, put, if I keep this uh, C D surface vertical, then the thread is not passing through the center of mass, the center of mass is towards the C D side and therefore, if I leave it from here, it tilts, it tilts, it does not stay like this, it does not stay with the surface of the C D vertical. If I leave it from here, it tilts. So, this tilting also we can understand using uh, rotational dynamics equations. Suppose it is in this condition and I will be leaving my hand and it will be tilting like that. So, let us analyze that. What are the forces on this setup? One is weight, 
which is passing through the center of mass which is vertically downward and the other is this tension in the thread. So, if I take the center of mass as the origin and write all my torques there, the torque of the weight mg will be 0 because the line of force passes through that center of mass. So, r vector will be 0, r cross f will be 0. So, we have to find the torque due to this tension only about the center of mass. The center of mass will be somewhere uh, here in the middle because motor is the heaviest part. So, it will be close to the center of the motor and then uh, this thread is tied here. So, this you can take as the point of application. So, from here the force is, is acting. So, from this origin to this point that is vector r and this is vector f. So, if I draw this picture on board, I can uh, explain better the direction of the torque. So, it is something like this you have uh, all this system and the center of mass is somewhere here and the thread is passing through this point. So, this is the tension T and here is the origin. So, this is the vector r, this is vector r, here is the origin center of mass and then the thread uh, is tied at this point. So, tension is here. So, this. Now, I, I can uh, write this r in two components. One is this and another is this. So, what I need is R cross F or R cross this tension R cross F and this R has two components. Let me call this point as A and this point is B. We had done it earlier. So, this is O A and plus A B and cross product with force which is the tension here and this uh, A B and cross this tension that will be 0. So, it is essentially O A cross F. So, what is the direction of O A? This is the direction of O A and F this is the direction. So, where is the torque? What is the direction of the torque? So, R cross F it is going into the board. The torque is going into the board. So, if I look at it here on the system, this vector r or this O a vector, this O a vector is like this, like this toothpick here and force vector is here, tension is here. So, r cross f, this r cross f will be towards me. So, torque is towards me the change in angular momentum should be towards me because torque is dl dt. Initial angular momentum is 0. So, after time dt the angular momentum direction should be towards me and if angular momentum is towards me it has to tilt anti clockwise in that perpendicular plane. So, it goes like this and that is what it's, it happens when I release it goes like this when I release it from here it just tilts like that. So, that is how things are explained. So, now I will connect this uh, battery to the motor so that this disc will start rotating. So, let me remove this uh, axis if needed we will put it back and connect it here and you watch whether it goes clockwise or anti clockwise. as in my by me as seen by me it is going uh, clockwise and as seen by the camera it is going anti clockwise. So, I am keeping the C D surface vertical and releasing it and see what happens. See the it is rotating about a vertical axis, but the C D surface is almost vertical it is not tilting it is almost vertical.
whereas if I do not rotate it and then release it tilts. So, how come it remained vertical and started going around this vertical axis? So, let us try to understand that. Let me put this uh, axis back here. So, now let us understand why it started rotating and the surface remained vertical. Once again the situation as far as the torque calculation is concerned it is same as that shown on the board when the in that whole process when the CD is here motor is here battery is here then the torque is just like that and the torque direction will be towards me. So, this is the torque direction and if this is torque direction the angular momentum change will be produced in this direction. Since it is uh, spinning fast there is already an angular momentum large angular momentum in this direction towards this axis along this axis. So, that L is already there then you have a torque towards me. So, that is in which direction that is in this direction. So, here is the torque direction and that is also the direction of change in angular momentum in some time dt. So, this is L and this is dl if dt is small this dl is also very small. So, when you add this L vector and this dl vector what is the new angular momentum? The new angular momentum which is vector sum of this and this will be between these use parallelograms it will be like this. To get the angular momentum in this direction the entire C D has to turn. So, that this angular momentum is rotated by some angle in this direction in this direction. So, from here angular momentum it has to come in this direction and therefore, this C D has to rotate. So, to produce the same d l because the torque remains the same in the same direction. So, to produce the same d l if this C d is initially stationary it has to tilt like this, but if it is initially spinning it has to rotate like this and that is why when you connect this battery to the motor and spin this C d fast it goes round this vertical axis and the surface remains almost vertical.